everyone. We're checking out Playforms, new pro art filters that just launched. Um, I'm among the artists who got to create these and they're really neat, so check them out. Let's get started. You're just gonna go to playform.io backslash gen and it will bring you to this page. You know, click try it now. And it's gonna let you choose a style. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to scroll through. There's going to be multiple artists down here you can pick from. We'll go to mine. We'll select the first one, which is a work called Bright Forms. And then we're going to upload an image. Go ahead and select this tree. All right. Now we've got different options here for the process. We can um, really focus on color, on the texture, or both. I really like to use the fine, which is gonna focus on both. Um, it does take a little bit longer, but we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this down low. We're gonna put this up, up in there somewhere. All right, and I, I've played around with these a lot, so I know the filters that I made, I really like how they look the most when applying them to um, photos especially to have like the style be minimum and then the composition effect it's going to hold this composition intact. So go ahead we'll click generate image and it does take a little while longer if you do it this way. Um, play around with it see you know with the works that you're combining if you like that vivid the pattern or fine. Um, this particular work that we're applying this bright forms is one that I created in Play form using a body of work that I physically made and then entered, scanned, entered into play form, created new works. Um, so we're applying that to a photograph that I took that was at Jekyll Island, a driftwood beach. Um, there's this really surreal, beautiful beach that has all of these live oaks that are dead. So they are dead live oaks. All right, preview this image. So you can kind of see what that looks like right there. We have a watermark. I just want to let you guys know that if you share this with the watermark, fantastic. If you make something and share it, I would love to see what you make. Also, it supports me if you know you share it. It's got my, my Instagram handle on it. If you do pay to download it without the watermark, I do benefit from that as well. So just to let you know, you are supporting me either way, and I think that's awesome. Now, you can go ahead and make image enhancements here if you need to. Um, you can do JPEG deblocking, denoising effects. You can upscale, save, uh, download, or share to the feed if you are, this shares it on Playform's feed. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll click this upscale option. You can kind of, you can go over here and it'll zoom in and show you what that looks like up close. So we'll just use this typical bicubic. That's what I'm going to use most of the time. We'll go four times. Let's denoise this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to click upscale and then I'll explain here a little bit. Um, so right now we can see what this is going to look like. We upscaled it, did some denoising. So it's got some of those little pixel digital noise out of the, out of the way. Um, and it shows us what we did here. Now we have this watermark is on here and it's going to look like it's on here but if you do pay to download it it will not be on when you download it so i will show you right here i will download that and then when i click on it i have this image a watermark all right so i really like to use the graphic and illustration upscaling method so let's look at that go for x do noise just one and we'll upscale Upscaling is really nice, especially if you want to use this um, somewhere that isn't just on a, it's not going to be viewed on a phone on social media. So you can zoom in here and check out what it looks like um, when you're in here doing these upscaling methods. Just to let you know, you can try them all out. You can see what works. You can play around with all the settings and you don't pay until you are ready to download it. So in here where I like 12 times, it cost me 30 credits. Um, I could check it out, make sure I like it before I spend my 30 credits and download it. And I get those credits because I'm a Playform Studio member. So every month I get more credits and to use in various ways. Um, if you guys have questions about that, feel free to contact me. I love being a Playform Studio member and would 
be happy to answer any questions you have about it. All right, so let's exit our upscaling. Go back here, and then you can always upload a different image. I'm just going to show you guys real quick what this looks like to use a sketch. We'll just put this style up here a little higher for this one. Um, this is a really simple black and white sketch that I did um, for one of those 30 day challenges with a prompt. So we'll see kind of what this looks like now. Hey, there we go. Let's take a look at this. All right, so now we've got this more abstract rendering of my sketch there. Um, and let's go ahead and I'm going to click on this. I think this will look really cool. Graphic and illustration. Let's do that. Let's make it bigger. Upscale that. All right, there we go. And then you can check that out up close, what that looks like. Beautiful. Thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial on the Playform Pro Art Filters. Let me know if you make something, how you found the process. Share it with me at Jen Palmer Art on Instagram or email me at hello at jenpalmer.art.